Hello and welcome back to Crafts by Caitlin. Today I'm so excited to bring you three DIY gift ideas that you can share with that special someone for Valentine's. So for the first Valentine gift idea, I'm taking two sets of these Dollar Tree Tower game blocks and I'm just going to paint the ends of each of these blocks to make them more festive. I'm going to be using a bright red and hot pink in the Apple Barrel paint. I just painted one thin quick coat because I wasn't worried about these being too perfect. But I am putting these two sets of blocks together to make a cute little personalized Jenga game that would be fun to play on it like an at home date night. Um, I wanted to personalize these blocks so that each turn would like suggest bringing up fun memories or sparking conversations but I just thought it was a really cute idea to have something fun to do that would make you communicate and be close on your date night. I did break them up into three groups because I do want to leave some of them the natural wood color and then I painted some of them the hot pink color and then some of them red. You can definitely skip this step if you don't feel like messing with the paint. I just thought it was fun and made it more festive. I'm just using a fine point sharpie to write on my blocks, but to get ideas you can google things to ask or you can just come up with some fun questions yourself. I added some fun little questions like my favorite thing about you or your favorite memory dating, but also some random things like a staring contest. So I didn't end up using all of the blocks, so probably about one and a half pack, so I spent around two dollars on this game. But if you want to buy the larger game, um, I think the original Jenga is around ten dollars at Walmart, and you could also do the same exact thing to that. So after the game was finished, I just purchased this Dollar Tree gift box so that I'd be able to store it in here. So I think this turned out really cute. That finishes up the first Valentine DIY, which I am really excited to try. So next up is these chocolate covered strawberries and I make these for my husband every year. He loves them. The whole family loves them. Um, but I just wanted to share with you that I use these Baker's dipping chocolate cups and these are my absolute favorite uh, things to use. This is the best tasting chocolate that I can find for these strawberries and it is very convenient in these little uh, microwavable cups. So to prep these, I just start by washing my strawberries and then I just let them dry on this paper towel and then I'm just going to be following the instructions on the microwavable cup uh, to melt my chocolate. And I'm just going to put my strawberries on this little cookie sheet uh, with a piece of parchment paper or wax paper just to make sure that they don't stick. I just pick up this little baker's chocolate from Walmart and it's only a couple dollars per cup and one of these little chocolate cups dipped this whole pack of strawberries so it was perfect for that but I just make sure that they are completely dry I dip them in there I try to scrape off as much chocolate as I can off of the bottom and then let them drip in there a second and this just seems to work perfect for me I know that if you order chocolate dipped strawberries, especially around Valentine's Day, they are so expensive. So this is a very budget friendly way of making a ton of them for your entire family. 
Um, I also like to use these little candy melt drizzle pouches. These are in the baking section at Walmart, like where the uh, cake decorating stuff is. But these are such neat little uh, pouches. You just stick them in the microwave um, with your power on 50% and then melt them using the instructions on the back. And it's just enough that uh, you don't have to buy a huge thing of chocolate uh, just to make the little swirls on top. And it's so convenient. Um, I know these aren't perfect, but I just went through there and added a little bit. This dresses them up so much. After I drizzled all the white chocolate on there, I did put these in the fridge for an hour or so just to make sure that all the chocolate was set up and really hard before I tried to package it. Dollar Tree has such beautiful little tins and boxes right now, so I picked up one of these red hearts and then I'm going to be putting a piece of this parchment. Uh, paper in the bottom just so nothing sticks and I think the presentation of these strawberries is everything so um, it makes them look so much cuter in this little heart tin. I always am so happy with how these turned out. I think they are such a nice looking little treat, a little gift. My husband takes these to work sometimes, um, but I take these a lot of times to the family events and everyone loves them. Let me know in the comments down below, um, what's your thing that you take to all your family events or uh, gatherings? I would love to know. So for the last DIY, I'm going to put together this little gift basket of treats. I wanted to make this like a cuddle kit and have things to make indoor um, s'mores. I know obviously it's so cold outside um, a lot of places that we can't really go outdoors and enjoy a campfire, but sometimes it's so fun to have a date night in and just enjoy things like um, roasting marshmallows in the oven or um, coming up with neat little ways to bring the outdoors inside. As uh, Since this is a little cuddle kit I thought that it was, was so appropriate this little bear card that I found at Dollar Tree and um, that it says you make me feel warm and cozy and um, but I got things like marshmallows and graham crackers and chocolates uh, to make the s'mores and then I also got some campfire snacks like popcorn and some little trail mix and then some little chocolate drops um, so I purchased all my stuff at Dollar Tree. I wanted this to be a little uh, budget friendly Dollar Tree basket for my channel. But um, online I have seen, on Pinterest uh, specifically, I have seen tons of people get so creative with this. And if you want to spend extra, you can add a pair of pajamas in there or a warm blanket or anything that uh, reminds you of snuggling up on the couch to watch a movie. A movie would also be something really neat um, if you wasn't worried about uh, being on such a tight budget uh, to add into this basket. And then to add a cute little tag for the front, I'm just cutting out a piece, of a little square out of some cardstock and then just free handed cuddle kit on there. So I think this adds so much more detail and makes it look like a Valentine's gift. I'm adding this beautiful little heart ribbon around there that also came from Dollar Tree. And then I just cut a hole in the top of my little tag and attached that with a second little ribbon. And I didn't do a complicated bow or anything. I just tied a couple little knots and let the ribbon stick out and it looked so cute. So whenever my husband brings home a large heart of chocolate or bouquet of flowers, I'll be so excited to give him back this cute little cuddle kit and be able to enjoy our night in with our games and our chocolates. But thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope this inspires you uh, to make your Valentine's a sweet little treat. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and make sure you're subscribed. Bye.